What's up, everybody? It's Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com, and this is another episode of Cooking with Napalm. I just came out, threw some chicken tenderloins on the grill. They're cooking up, and while I'm waiting, I thought I would answer some of your recent questions. Now, before I get into that, just want to say that you're going to be viewing this probably on Friday. That means that I am at the Arnold Classic when you're watching this. So if you're there, make sure to look me up. Don't be afraid to tap me on the shoulder, give me a holler, or throw something at me when you see me, because I'm probably going to be, you know, looking at something else, and I don't want to miss you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the questions. Now, all of these questions came on the same video. It's one that I put up recently. I bought a bunch of grippers off my friend Mike Rinderly, and I was just giving him initial squeezes to show where I was at on those particular grippers. Um, so here we go. Andy Miller says, nice man, I had one of these laying around that I bought a while ago. It says COC2, Captain's a Crush. Would you happen to know its rating? It seems tough. I can't pull it all the way. Thanks. Now, the only way that I can truly give an accurate rating to your gripper is if you send it to me and I put it on the rating device, and then I can tell you exactly what the rating is on your gripper. But... Um, it, well, if you want to do that, contact me and we can set everything up. It's a quick process. It only takes me about, you know, 10 minutes setup time, 10 minutes to rate the gripper, and then uh, I get it right back to you. So if you send it, um, if it takes two days to get to me, I rate it, and sometimes I can even get it back in the mail the same day that I get it. So you might only be without your gripper, you know, five or six days tops. So let's talk if you want to get your grippers rated. However, with a COC number two, um, I've seen as low as 102 pounds and as high as about 112 pounds, I believe. So somewhere in that range. A 10 pound difference between ranges can mean the difference between successfully smashing and holding a gripper closed and missing it. So it's still, even though it doesn't sound like that much, really, <clears throat> You're looking at quite a significant range of, of difference. All right, uh, second question. Billy Brother says, beard's looking sexy, man. Thanks, brother. I'm out of the powerlifting game currently due to some injuries, so I want to maybe go into grip training and do a competition. Awesome, bro. Perfect. What are some of the novice to intermediate uh, equipment, I guess, I should acquire for my gym? I already have COCs running from trainer to number three, which I've closed, but I'm not certified. I also have an axle bar. Any more general grip equipment for a beginner to intermediate? Thanks, brother. I would definitely recommend, if you're going to start doing this, to get an adjustable pinch device. The reason I recommend that is because it is a staple of grip competitions to use an adjustable grip device. Using anything other than an adjustable grip device is going to, um, it's not going to be fully fair for all competitors. With an adjustable grip device such as the Napalm Pinch, and I'll put a link below, you can change the width of what you're, what you're squeezing on from anywhere from like 44 millimeters up to 70 millimeters almost which you're looking at less than two inches and over two and a half inches and it really makes a big difference in in performance for people so I would certainly recommend that I would also recommend either a blob or some block weights because open hand training like with block weights is great it's really good for developing hand strength and that kind of grip strength can help you develop well-rounded hand strength that will lead to better performance in other events also, any form of uh, thick bar training that you can uh, add into your training will, will work out fine. It's, it's going to be a good, a good addition for you, and I hope that helps you out. Um, somebody named Jumps with Goats says, What does anyone think of the Zenith, Zenith grippers from Iron Mind? I have, a, I have one or two down there. Um, I mean, they're all right, but uh, I, I definitely prefer the regular Captains of Crush grippers from Iron Mind over the Zenith grippers. Uh, CSS Face says, can someone explain the metrics the grip strength community uses to judge grippers? Uh, how do you judge if you closed it? It doesn't look like any of his attempts, attempts he's actually touching metal to metal. That's because, that's because those grippers are not easy grippers. 
and they're actually beyond where I'm at right now. So one of those is a 182 gripper. Uh, it's a 3.5. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a it's a Mash Monster 4, I believe, replica, and I'm about a quarter of an inch away. So, um, no, I didn't close that gripper. Closing a gripper means you touch the handles together. It can't get any more simpler than that. Um, anything else, I never said I closed any of those. I don't know if I closed any of those. Um, I just took a temps on them. So, um, you know, that's, that's that. You want to, the goal is always to touch the handles of the gripper together. All right. Unless you are doing something like a strap hold or a silver bullet hold where you're crushing it down and then trying to hold something between the handles. And then last question, what does modified 2.5 mean? So at one point I'm squeezing uh, what I call a modified 2.5. What that is is an Iron Mine 2.5. Um, and there's lots of different ways to modify grippers, but in this particular case, what that meant was the insides of the handles were filed to do what's called beyond the range training. So the, I think the, the handles of a gripper are about 19 millimeters, so when you file some of the inside away, when you squeeze it down, you've actually got to squeeze further than you normally would. All right. So you could think of, um, instead of using a straight bar for bench press, if you use like a Jefferson bar that's got the, the angle cut into it for your crotch, if you were to bench with a Jefferson bar, instead of stopping at the top of your chest, you'd go even further beyond that. So it would make the, the bottom portion of the bench press even deeper. That's what we're doing with grippers, only it's not the negative portion that's effective, uh, affected, it's the concentric portion. And it's a good way to train. Guys, if you have any other questions on any videos, I always welcome questions. Feel free to leave a comment below any videos that you have, and eventually I will work my best, my, give my best effort to answer that question in a video in one of the upcoming episodes of Cooking with Napalm. For now, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video, check out dieselcrew.com, and again, hope to see you at the Arnold if you're going. All the best in your training. Take care.